Hello, my name is Heather and welcome to your chakra experience. This practice that we're going to move through is going to explore all seven of the major chakras within the body. We'll start with a warm up where we'll just briefly tap into each of the major chakras and then we'll come back to the root and we'll just spend some time playing and understanding and then slowly rise up through the body. Please understand though that the separation and dissection of the chakras is merely so that we can understand it intellectually. The reality is, is that when you start to move with practices like this, you'll, you'll hopefully start to feel that um, it's a matrix, it's an intertwining, it's a rainbow effect of all of these um, energy centers uh, interplaying with each other, affecting each other, and um, they just flow up and down and around and in and out. So the separation is only just so that we can understand it here. Okay, so if you're ready, just come to a seated position. Okay, take the time to lengthen the spine, close the eyes. Come into the base of the perineum, so right where the uh, pelvic floor intersects with the pubic bone and the tailbone. And then from there, start to move the body a little bit forward and back until you can feel the vertebrae and the spine stacking and aligning on top of itself. And just continue to ascend till you come all the way to the crown of the head. So in the field of the chakras, this um, is called the energy highway of the Shishumna. It parallels with the spine, but it's, it's not um, physical. It's an energetic highway that moves up and down through the body. And now start to breathe a little deeper. And with each inhale, consciously expand and broaden through the pelvic floor. And as you breathe out, just slowly sip the pelvic floor back and towards the body. Come into the density and the heaviness of the body. Feel the firmness and the anchoring of the legs. Feel the weightiness of your skeletal system. And come into the abyss of your own abode. Consciously ground down into the earth. And then as you breathe in, allow the earth to do what it does best, support the body, supports the systems that lay upon it. Take a deep breath in and out. Just release and let that go. Moving into Svadhasthana, the hips, the glutes, the low back. Turn the palms down onto your knees. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, take a deep rotation through the front body, through the low back. And as you breathe in, circulate up and back. So if you need to close the eyes to feel the sensations in the body, then feel free to do so. Visualize the sensations of water, the ability to liquefy your body and create a little bit more ease and space. Top of the inhale, micro pause, and as you exhale, circulate 
the opposite direction. Encourage a sense of freedom and inherent ability for the body to want to create and unwind. Take one more full rotation here. Top of the inhale again, micro pause, exhale, just release. Feel, if you can, that centrifugal force within you still circulating even though the body is still. Take a clearing breath in and out, just release Svadhisthana. Coming into Manapura, so keep the legs crossed, but as you inhale, sweep the hands forward, let the back of the hands touch, and then as you exhale, elbows pull in and a little lean back. Inhale, sweeping forward. Exhale, pulling back. And now you can take this and amplify it a little bit more by hugging the knees in, drawing energy up in towards your midline, even accompany a little bit of an ajayi breath and then if you want to amplify this just a little bit more as you pull back pull the knees in hover the feet and then breathe in and sweep again forward exhale pull So there's a heat, there's a little bit of a fiery sensation perhaps building in the core. Next exhale, pause and hold. Butterfly the knees in towards each other, come into Navasan, come into boat. Arms are gonna come out, spread the fingers, lengthen the legs and breathe. And now exhale, Cross the ankles, sit tall for a moment, come right into the solar plexus. So from xiphoid to navel, that space in between. Breathe and radiate the inner sun out. And now turn the palms down onto the knees, coming into anahat. So it's a seated cat cow, breathe in, extend the heart forward. And as you exhale, round the spine, hold on to the knees and lean back. Breathe in, send the heart forward, reach out. Exhale, round and lean back. So what I find really beautiful about the heart laying over this fiery third chakra is that when you take that fire and you breathe it into the element of air, it takes this ability to be overbearing with the third chakra and it just allows it to infuse into a sense of empowerment. Take one more full, steady inhale and exhale. And then sit tall, breathe into the heart, lay the hands one on top of the other here. Take a final breath in and out, just clearing the element of anahat. Take your awareness into Vishuddha Chakra. Bring the first two fingers, slip them behind the back of the neck. Let the elbows hug in towards each other. Take an inhale here, lift and lengthen, and as you exhale, open the elbows and expand out the mouth. So inhale, hugging in, draw the elbows in. And as you exhale again, reach back. Keep pulsing like this, breathing in. And so if you need just a little bit more of an audible release, a little sigh, it's a ah. Two more. Ah. 
Inhale, come right back up to center. Exhale, slowly release the arms back down. Breathe and pause. Open up the channels of the ears. Heighten the sense of sound. Come into a deep sense of inner listening. Transferring to six chakra, Ajna chakra, bring the hands together, form a sense of prayer, and then place the thumbs right on to the space between the eyes. From here, ground the forehead into the thumbs, ground the thumbs into the forehead, and then breathe into the expansionness of the mind. So it's as though you take the breath from the upper palate of the roof of the mouth, and as you breathe in, you're expanding the breath into the corners of the mind. Keeping the eyes closed, keep the third eye tuned in. As you breathe in, start to separate the palms away from each other. Extend through the arms as though you're drawing an openness and an expansion through the mind. And then as you exhale, drift the palms right back into third eye. A few more times like this, breathing in. And breathing out. So if these higher centers are more challenging, take a medicine drop down to the pelvic floor and then breathe all the way back up the Shashumna and come into Pineal. Next exhale, let there be a release, a reprieve. Surrender the arms back down to the knees. Let the palms stay open and receiving. Now create this beautiful line of energy from base of the pelvic floor all the way up to seventh chakra, Sahasrara. Visualize the atmospheric energy pouring in through the vortex of the crown of the head and traveling all the way down to the base of the pelvis. And then from the base of the pelvis, draw the energy of the earth, pull it up and into the body and all the way out through the crown of the head. Find the delight in being a disciple of stillness. Take a final breath here, just softly clearing and releasing the energies of this chakra. Pull in those energetic cords and ground all the way back down to your roots. And then we'll slowly come back into our base, into our root chakra by coming onto all fours. <coughs> Stack the hands underneath the shoulders, bring the knees right underneath the hips. Start with some easy cat-cow, so just playing with the vertebrae and the bones of the body. So feel the structural integrity of the arms supporting the upper body, so very little weight onto the musculature. And then feel the structural support of the knees underneath the hips, so those long femur bones taking on the support of the body without using the musculature. 
and then from there feel the interplay of the vertebrae so take an inhale here and as you exhale draw tailbone down lift pubic bone up start to round and curve through the spine release the crown of the head down and then as you breathe in softly release slip the tailbone up draw the navel down thread the heart through the shoulders and lift the gaze up and so this repeats the movement is simple but see if you can shift vertebrae by vertebrae have the patience for the head to reach that domino effect before it moves 